Hi everyone, it's Mary Blocker from Mary's Stampin' Cafe and I am so glad you joined to look at this video today. It is the ninth week of my 12 Fridays of Fall projects. Week nine already, that means 10, 11, three more weeks. And I just had to tell you, I just got this really fun host reward stamp set called Seasons of Fun. And I mean, oh my goodness, you guys, look. How darn cute are these little cute kids? One pulling along the little sled. How about the little roller skate pumpkin girl? So cute, the boy in the leaves. And I tell you what, reminds me of all my time in the Midwest growing up and all those raked leaf piles we used to jump in and of course the kitty. And who, look at this little dog. You see his little tongue sticking out when it comes Christmas time or in the winter, he's gonna wanna be licking those leaf, uh, those, um, Snowflakes, hello, yes, the snowflakes. <laughs> well, I am here to do that wonderful card for you. And it is all about the fall and it's all about this little guy here. So now this host set is um, for hostess only with a $150 um, workshop party um, order or higher. Um, and I believe this is really inexpensive. The hostess sets to redeem are like $10. They're really inexpensive um, for you to use your host dollars on. And I kept forgetting about this one. And it is in the uh, July to December 2021 mini catalog, which is still good through December. It's I think it ends on uh, January 2nd, if I'm not mistaken. So you can still earn this one. It's so cute. But let's get building this today. Let's get making this project. If you haven't been here before, thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, give me a thumbs up and share if you would. And there's a host code there for you. That's during the month of October. With a $50 order using that host code, you'll be getting a free embellishment from me. And I still have about three kits left of my textures and frames um, project kit where you get the free stamp set and the supplies for five projects. Now let's take a look at what I have here. I've done some of the work for myself already. So I'm gonna be doing a little coloring today. I have cinnamon cider cut at five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of very vanilla at five and a quarter by four for the inside of the card. And then I have a piece of our bumblebee, which I've already done some leaf embossing on. I, I didn't wanna pull out my um, stamp and cut and emboss machine and take time with that. Um, but this is our wonderful um, pair of embossing things here. There's the butterflies and the leaves, and then the leaf die, the leaf folder here. Now, what's really nice about these is I can do a border, as you see, and these are like falling leaves. Now, this could be done for a springtime right but i just think it's perfect for fall in our fall colors here so this is cut at five and a quarter by four as well and then i have a piece of shimmery white which goes very well with our very vanilla it's more of a vanilla than it is a white but it does have the shimmery in there i'm also using it today because i am using my color pencils and blender pen and the blender pen and um, watercolor pencils work so nicely on our shimmery white just like Stampin' Blends. So I have a piece here that's cut at two, um, two and three quarters by almost three, and then this is three by three and a quarter cinnamon cider, and it layers just like so. All right, so let's go ahead and get our stamp that we're using today this little guy. I also wanna let you know, now the stamp set you notice as our fun characters here, but they don't have a sentiment. And so I am using a wish for everything. This is a two set stamp set. <laughs> you get two, we have a happy with all of the different happy Valentine's, happy Halloween, happy birthday, happy Christmas, happy Thanksgiving, just fantastic things. And this one has wishes. Just a little reminder that you are loved. Um, giving thanks for you with a very grateful heart is what I'm using today. And so it's a fantastic um, double set for everything. <laughs> I'm also gonna use a Stazon pad because that's what you wanna use when you are using color pencils. So I have a great package here just full of some wonderful Stampin' Up! watercolor pencils. 
There's my blender pen. And Stampin' Up's watercolor pencils are wonderful. They blend, blend so, so nicely. Now I have some of the Assortment 1 and the Assortment 2. Stampin' Up has two assortments in their collection um, to use, so that's great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my little guy inked up here. Now I've not stamped with him before, so I'm gonna turn him over and stamp just to see what I get. And as you can see, it doesn't stamp, didn't stamp so wonderfully, did it? So I'm gonna really make sure I get that ink in there well. I do struggle with stays on at times, getting things covered really well and then for it to come off of the stamp. Sometimes I find that it really sticks to the stamp and then it, you pull it off and it doesn't stick to the paper, which sometimes is discouraging. But we'll hope and hope and have faith here, and let's see what happens. There he is. He looks pretty good to me. Very nice. Now, why am I using Stazon? I'm using Stazon because it is an alcohol permanent based ink. And whenever you're going to bring in water um, into your coloring, and the blend, uh, the Stampin' Up blending pens are a solution on here of some sort of you know water base and what have you, and it will cause if you use Memento ink you'll get bleeding and you don't want that. Okay, I am ready to do some fantastic coloring here. I'm gonna get in here and get a little bit of some fall colors. And what I wanna tell you on here, what I'm doing, is I am just gonna bring in and do just a little bit of hard coloring of the leaves in here in spots, okay? not even worried about coloring really well. And watch what's gonna happen when I use my blender pen. When I get my blender pen in here, it just smooths that color right around and right in to color those leaves for me. It pulls that color right out, smooths it, makes some of the places lighter and darker, like giving it that shadow and that shade. And how quick and pretty is that already happening? Now I'm gonna bring you down a little bit here. So while I'm coloring, you can really see that happening. Now I am gonna bring in my bright color green because, you know, I'm sorry about my shade, my shadows here. Um, not everything is totally brown yet, right? When our leaves are starting to change and fall. So we can go in here with some of our brighter colors too. And I'm not really even paying too much attention to where those leaves are or where they're falling because when you start looking at that pile of leaves, it all just blends together. But you can see how easily on this shimmery white, how that green is just spreading around so nicely. All right, and our orange leaves now. bright colors in there. We'll get them going. He's got a little bit coming up through there. I'm going in there. We got one right here. And I'm really just giving a couple of lines of color because I know it's going to smooth it all out. There we go. Now you take your blender pen and you wanna make sure you don't have that other color on there. So you give it a little roll around. And I'm gonna come in here now and just start having that color bleed out, spreading out through there. And it's filling my space as you can see. It's filling some of my spaces there. And I'm getting that fun fall look happening. It's kind of getting into some of those other colors as well and that's okay. We just want it to be a fun flurry of fall. And then you can see as I just ran my pen over that, how it just blended so nicely. And I'm gonna come in with this really deep color right in here. It's kind of a sh little shocking color, but I think that's fun. And bring that blender in again just to blend those colors. And that cute little kitty. What color am I going to color that kitty? Well, I know. I know what I'm going to color that kitty. 
That kitty is going to be a gray kitty cat. So let's get him in here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of color there. Just kind of funky. And then I'm going to spread it all out and around. His little ears, his little body there. And there he is. That's great. I'm going to pull in my darker black here because I'm going to get his shoes. But again, notice I'm just doing a little bit of color because this black is going to really spread out easily. See how that just happened? Just spreads it right out. There we go. His little bottom of his shoes. Now, he looks to me like he would have a fun brown little cap on here. So let's do that. Let's do a little color dark. Kind of put those areas where you think it's the hat's going to be darkest. Just going to put some color like that in there. And now my blender pen is going to come in and do all the work for me. See how it just glides along and pulls that color? It's just fantastic. And I don't have to add any more color. There it is, just like so. Looks great. So let's go ahead and get into his shirt and his pants. I think he would look really great in some blue slacks, some little blue jeans. Get another little color going in there. I think cinnamon cider looks great with blues. And so now I'll come in here and just spread that color around on his pants. There we go. We'll even give a little bit of that stripes in his shirt and see how I even have some of the blue still on my blender pen. So we'll kind of bring that blue right in there again. We'll give him another stripe of blue right here and another one right there. And then we'll coordinate that on his arms. And we'll give him a little bit on his neck of his shirt. There we go. And now I just bring my blender pen in to smooth it. Smooth right along there. His little stripes in his hands. There we go. And then I think we need a little bit of our yellow. Now I don't really want to go with a real deep yellow but, or a light, light yellow, but I don't have a lot of choice in that round. So we are going to give him nice bright yellow. And again, I'm just giving a little bit of, going a little harder on the yellow because it needs to show up more, right? Make sure that's clean. And I'll get in here now and do the yellow of his shirt. He's got a nice fall colored shirt on now, doesn't he? There we go. Great. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I want to give his face just a little bit of color. So I'm going to take this little gold and I'm just going to put one little mark on this hand here one little mark on his hand and just a little on his face I mean I'm hardly even touching it just so I can pull and give him a little bit of color on his face there we go there we go well that looks really fun if we take a look at that a little closer up and you can see the details on the hat how the shading is there because again what I do is I just do kind of a hard line and coloring in where I want um, those features and so I'm gonna go ahead and let's adhere this down I love water coloring with the blender pen uh, with the stamp and blend and blender pens they are just so fun let's do a little adhering of this down and, whoop. now that happens sometimes when you've embossed and you've made the fibers of your cardstock a little bit weaker, your um, stampin' seal is so strong it can kind of rip, rip a bit of the fibers, and so you gotta watch for that. But that's no problem there. Okay, now the other thing I wanted to pull in, because I just love it, it's something that's on the clearance rack right now. It is the um, Forever Greenery Combo Pack of Ribbon. There's this one right here, it's almost like a gauze type but I thought that would be really really nice across here and so I wanted to see about that and using that to add a bit of interest here um, I think that would be really great it also kind of ties in a bit of that shimmery white that I'm using to tie in that color 
So let's go ahead, I'll do my five. I usually do five. I do not like the center of my uh, pieces getting pushed down or sinking in the center. There we are. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. I am gonna use it. I'm not gonna wrap it around the card. I've been kind of having fun letting it kind of just hang. It works out really well. And I'm gonna put this guy on right about here. Ooh, let me bring him back in. And so, with my scissors, I'm gonna go ahead and trim right here. And then I'm gonna trim this right here. And just give it a little rough edge. There. Just a little accent like that. Okay, now we have our wishes. And uh, wish for everything on the inside. I'm going to bring you back up a little bit here. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, I am going to grab my oval punch. is not at my, the tip of my hand right now. So I am going to bring out some old lovey punches um, to do my wishes. So I have a strip of the shimmery white here and I'm going to go ahead and stamp my wishes with the stays on. This is a bold stamp so let's see how we do stamp off and then stamp that stamps so well wishes then I'm going to go ahead and use the circle punch and it's going to say wishes and then I am going to grab from the stamp set there's this cute little leaf right here and I'm going to grab that little leaf and we are going to stamp, let me grab my little block, we're going to stamp a little leaf on the wishes here, maybe a couple of them. Ooh, I dropped my wishes stamp. I got to grab that. No kidding. <laughs> so then using our cinnamon cider, I can go ahead and stamp do a little stamp right there to check it out. I'm going to do a couple little leaves for the wishes. There we are. Just to give it a little bit of fun, that's going to go right here. And I have a bit larger one. Let's see, this was the one, one and three eighths, and this is one and a half, which is perfect. I'm going to grab my cinnamon cider. And I am going to punch out another circle. Now we have the double oval punch that's current that would be great to use for this. That was my plan and I apologize. I didn't, I didn't pull out my double oval punch in my creating here. Shame on me. <laughs> so again, this is week nine of our 12 Fridays of fall projects and my wishes is going to come right up here. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to put a dimensional on the right side of this guy here and then I'm going to put a little adhesive here because where it's going to stick on the card it's going to be layering on here but it's also going to be on the card here and since this is raised up I need to have part of it raised up as well. And so that's going to come just like this, just like that. And then when we open up, we have the inside of our card to do. Here we are. Let's set him aside. Now I have the sentiment that says, 
giving thanks for a grateful, a very grateful, giving thanks to you for a very grateful heart. Oh, that was hard. Now let's ink this up really well. Do that some more. And now we'll find our center and glue. Oh, that's, I'm gonna turn it over. That does not, was not very straight. There's two sides of the paper, which is great. Oh, I notice I'm not very straight on there either. There we are. And now I'm gonna use that little leaf again. That's so cute. And we can just simply start putting some leaves falling. Oh, down the page. I think that's fun. Very fun. Love it. Still not very straight. Oh, I think I might have put my sticker on a little crooky for that, but that's okay. Our card is almost finished. There we are. Wishes giving thanks for you with a very grateful heart. So cute. So again, that is the Seasons of Fun stamp set for our card today. Very cute. Now, if you want to earn this stamp set, you can do a, a party if you want to. You can do an online party with friends. I can set up a, your own host code. Um, and anybody that does orders with you that host code puts it all onto your party. And you, when you hit a $150 workshop, you can use your host dollars to get the stamp set all the way through December. There's also another um, host stamp set as well. There's two different ones in the mini catalog. Um, again, guys, thanks so much for stopping in and seeing my week nine of my 12 Fridays of Fall projects. This little guy is so stinking cute. I hope you enjoyed my card today, guys. Hey, subscribe. I'm almost at that 500, and you know what that means if you've come to my videos before. We are going to have a big subscriber stampin' party. So until next time, guys, happy stampin'.